Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV Balloon Basics. We are joined by Mark from Qualitex. Mark, thank you for coming in. Great to be back. And today, Mark is going to show us how to put an 18 inch foil balloon inside a deco bubble. So Mark, over to you. Okay, fantastic. So I've already opened up our, our deco bubble. I've discarded the, the wet pack that keeps yep. it moist, yep. but we've only just done that. So we're all ready to go. And we have our Mother's Day 18 inch foil. Now this is, um, can be a little bit tricky. So uh, uh, I'll, I'll show you through uh, what we do. I think the easiest thing to do is to put a little bit of helium uh, into air bubble to start yep. with. You can do these helium or air filled. I'll do a helium one now. A little bit inside there. And then what we're gonna do is fold up our Mother's Day foil. Okay. Okay, um, so we need to, to, to make a, as, as tight a roll as we possibly can on this so that we can uh, put this all the way inside. And the neck isn't that big on a deco bubble okay. when you start to insert it. Um, uh, so you'll, you'll find that depending on how tight you do this, the tighter you do it, the easier it will be. Yeah. Okay, so we've got their end there. And we're going to drop that inside the neck and then slide that all the way in. Oh, I think you've nailed it, Mark. It's looking good. Okay, so if you get to a point that yep. you, you're stuck ever, grab from the inside, holding the neck so it doesn't turn inside out and, and, and slide it all the way in. Perfect. You then want the, the, the foil to fully um, unfold or as much as you can before you start inflating yeah. with your helium. Um, now I'm gonna use our trigger outlet on the 10 foot extension here. And normally I would always say for foil inflation, use a automatic foil yeah, inflator. Yeah. Um, as you'll see with this, we need some extra pressure on the foil to fully inflate okay. it. So we're gonna do this with a bit of care, a bit of responsibility. We're gonna take it really gently on the valve. Okay. I can, I'm just gonna waste some of your helium again here, Greg. Uh, I can do it very fast, but that potentially could damage the valve. Excellent. So we're gonna work really, really <laughs> slowly. Okay, so I'm gonna drop this inside uh, our valve of our foil balloon and it should unfold as we gently inflate. Oh, nice. remembering that it's not going to stop on its own. Yeah. I'm then going to use the same trigger outlet and place that inside the neck of the deco bubble, but not the neck of the foil, making sure I hold on to the foil because I don't want the foil to totally disappear on the inside. And then again, we fully inflate the deco. Entire nice. creases have gone. Has that 18 inch foil balloon gone down? Is it okay? It's absolutely fine. So what's happened is the pressure that I've just put on the outside of the, the, the balloon is squashing the helium down on the inside of that foil. Oh, right, yeah, I guess. So now yeah. what we have to do is slide this back out, careful not to lose any, um, uh, any helium. So I'm keeping my fingers nice and tightly sealed. And then I'm gonna take that back inside the valve of the foil balloon And then twist, twist, twist. And those twists will just um, stop that helium releasing. It's really hard to seal it. Unlike when you put a latex balloon yeah. in, it's really hard to seal this just with the pressure from your fingers. All right, okay. Um, can you take the air out of our 160 for me in preparation? Okay, I can try. It's the knot tying at the end that I will struggle. I'm going to do as many twists as I can in here. I told you I'd struggle. I can't tie a knot in a balloon. There is a balloon basics about that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and as we've done before with a latex balloon, I'm going to put the uh, 160 onto the neck, half one side, half the other, and then I'm going to fully stretch that out and then start to bind that neck. Now, normally I'd two or three times each way is enough to secure it. But we really want to pull this yeah. tight 
and bind and bind and bind because again it's not got that latex inside to, to, to finish that off and to make a really good helium seal. I do remember the first time you showed me this technique and I, I the way you demonstrated it was you stretched it out wrapped it around my finger and then let go and then it just bit into my fingers yeah. so, so that elastic effect as you as you bind it around as you say it gets tighter and tighter yeah. when you let go yeah and that's what's hopefully going to give us a, a, a good helium seal and then a nice couple of knots and then we're we're there to finish that off very nice so I've got a weight and some ribbon. I could roll tie around uh, uh, the end of the foil, um, but because I've got my latex on here, I'm just going to tie, tie this on directly around my 260 kilos. I would a latex balloon. And then you can take that to the desired height. Shove it on the floor. Yeah, that's on the, the chair. The chair there. drop our collar on, finish that off. Using a bit of that 160 just to just to around. There. there we are. And there you go. And that is how to get an 18 inch foil balloon into a deco bubble.